Right then. It doesn't matter who you are. We all have our good habits and bad habits. It's great to have good habits. They can enhance your life. Unfortunately, the thing about those rascally bad habits is that they can drag your life down. The thing about habits is that they become ingrained into your mind. And once the mind is comfortable with a way of behaving, then it can become very difficult to break that habit. When you're dealing with changing habits, repetition is the key to your success. Your bad habits have been caused by your doing the same thing again and again, again, and, well, you get the idea. The only way that you can break those habits is to consciously not repeat the habit or to consciously do something different in its place. However, for you to make those changes, you need to be aware of your bad habits. Now then, spend a long moment thinking on everything that you do at work, at home, social scene, absolutely everything. Get out pen and paper. Okay, you can type it onto your computer or whatever, but for me, it makes it something more real if you have to write it down. You're taking action to create something tangible, something that has real meaning to you. Okay, having remembering not to leave everything out, write down every habit that you can think of. Remember to be scrupulously honest or you'll not get the benefit of the exercise. Once you've done that the first time, then look at what you've written and see if that sparks your mind to remember other habits. Organise your habits into good and bad sections. With your good habits, of which I hope that you have many, take a look to see if you can enhance them in any way. There have been more than a few people who've written that you should identify your weaknesses and turn them into strengths. Oh, yeah. Great idea, but how much time are you going to devote to your weaknesses? Are you going to devote time to the exclusion of work on your strengths? Hmm, there's a thought. Hopefully not. Personally, I would rather you kept your focus on strengths and tried to improve them further. For example, you might have some low self-esteem issues, but if you, you work on developing your strengths, then you can raise your self-esteem. Maybe it's just a different way of looking at things, but it does the job for me. And if it works for me, no reason why it can't work for you, my friend. Once you know what your bad habits are, then you can take action to change them. Look at what you can do to change them, then do it. You, my friend, are the only person on this planet and in the universe who is responsible for all of your habits. And you are the only person on this planet, and would you believe it, in this universe, who can actually change them. So... You've got those wicked bad habits that you want to change. Now what? The first thing to realise is that unless you not only want to change, but you make the conscious decision to change, then the odds are stacked against you making that change. When you make the decision to stand against your rascally bad habits, you're not going to change a thing unless you take action. Now, given that you have to reprogram your mind to delete your bad habits, please do remember that it can take time to kick your bad habits into touch, so don't get all stressed out about it if you don't wake up that first morning, all your habits, bad habits, miraculously gone. 
Overeating and smoking are two habits that, when they get lodged into your mind, are very difficult to stop. So please don't go cold turkey and try to do it all at once. Regardless of the habit, if you try to do it all at once, then your mind will resist you. And as it's probably got more control over your willpower than you do, you will have a battle on your hands. So just do it a wee bit at a time. Chip away at them. When you're breaking bad habits that wee bit at a time, you're not coming into conflict with your mind, as doing things slowly is not the same as stressing your mind out by trying to do it all at once. Every step forward that you take will build your confidence. It's not going to happen overnight. The odds are that you might take some backward steps, but you can win. Unless you take action, you will achieve nothing. All that you will manage to do is to become accustomed to substanceless dreams and defeat. But if you are able to change your habits, you really can change your life. And so, my friend, until next time, keep living.